Welcome, Capricorns. It's Friday, so it's uh, Sagittarius Capricorn Day, and this is your singles read. Now I'm doing something a little different with the cards instead of uh, Meet the Soulmate. This is uh, Tarot Story Time. So I've just found that I can catch the, I don't know, groove of your life. And these last two cards are predictive about the future person. Just assuming you're completely and totally single. If you have someone on your mind, I have the heart spread read, which you also do on Fridays for Sag and Caps. Um, so, you know, check that out. Um, but it, it helps me to kind of see how you get there and it helps me see what you're going to get, you know. And guys, I'm just going to go ahead and give away the ending. Holy fuck, that's great. I, ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, winner of the week single award, you know, for best reading for sure. So I want to clarify the moon. So forgive me, I, pr I appreciate all the ladies out. So this reads, uh, it's my first week doing it. I really like it. I think it's going to help. Uh, it's challenging for me. Um, I'm using the Klimt Art Deck too. I'll show you the cards as we go. So um, bottom of the deck, you know, you have the Three of Swords. You don't have the heart here, uh, but you have that. Um, I don't know if I want to count that in this reading yet or not, but it, when I saw it, I thought like you have a, you know, um, page of pentacles and here um, you have the um, um, ace of wands. So um, childhood sweetheart. And I think this would have been with someone that was slightly older than you, like a year. But you know how that can go. And I think this is something that went on right around adolescence. And I think the Three of Swords just points towards a disappointing adolescence. Out of which you saw a lot of this. You know, parents divorced, difficulties in relationships. I don't know. Uh, it's not, it wouldn't be, you know. Then, you know, that's probably not that uncommon, unfortunately. That's just what that is. But this is a very sweet first relationship. A first love so I'm asking you to please leave me a comment if that resonates if this goes back to your first love um, now it's Capricorn so you could think this name of Pentacles would be you and I think you might have been involved with a slightly older fire sign very most likely Aries energy guys Aries and caps can work but this was just you know it opened you up and um, it, it ended, uh, you know, it ended, what well, it mostly does, when you, you would have been in the age of uh, adolescence, you know, when Saturn first makes its opposition. Sorry, uh, I have to take care of the mosquitoes. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, peace and love to the world, but fuck mosquitoes. Uh, hey, I'm not perfect, okay? Okay, Mother Teresa. Get off it, Mother Teresa. So, um... What I get to is the moon here, um, and this is uh, going on, I think the wands in the moon is still like an adolescence, late adolescence, college years, or, or you know, late teens uh, time of things. And after this relationship ends, which is your uh, knave of pentacles, uh, page of pentacles, your ace of wands here, um, it kind of opens you up with this... Um, two of ones to um, make decisions uh, in terms of love and relationship. Um, it's like, um, how do I put this? It's like you going around and always sort of, if whatever you're interested in, if there's men or women, sort of looking around the room and always kind of trying to decide which one you would rather date, you know? Like you might love, you know, who would you rather do things, you know? Uh, just something that's on your mind. Um, and during this time, you know, you might have had, um, you know, relationships and um, nothing sticking because, you know, you're in like this perpetual two of wands, perpetually looking. Mm -hmm. And it's not generally speaking what a Capricorn would want, but depends. you might have a Venus in Sag, and maybe you do. So it all depends on so many things. But now the moon, now I don't understand, this is something of, this is in your conscious position. You kind of know that you're doing this. this is maybe your modus operandi. You're like, I'm just going to, uh, you know, make the right choice that feels best for me, you know. 
for the weekend. <laughs> that kind of energy. But now the moon, this is deeper energy. Something that you don't see. Uh, 12th house stuff, hidden enemies because, you know, self-sabotage. These kind of things. Things we don't see about ourselves. That's what I want to clarify with the Ten of Swords. There's something that needs to be finished. And I think it goes back to the Three of Swords on the bottom, guys. So, uh, ba back to childhood stuff. And I think that's what, you know, this is psychology. It's not that crazy. I mean, I went through kind of a similar process. Um, and you may be starting to really, it really hitting you. After you kind of get out and start dating, and I think you're kind of finding, uh, this is uh, your reason, Cap reading Capricorns, that you're kind of uh, like uh, maybe your friends are going on to form, you know, live in relationships and marriages and families or something. And you're already starting to feel like, you know, you're sort of more, uh, you're really not down for that kind of um, commitment or that kind of relationship. Um, and I think it's going back to the childhood. And this is implying that you want to end this. And I think that's where the magician comes in. So um, this could be a period pretty recently. It, may, it could even be futuristic here if you're not experiencing this yet. But I would think you're at least beginning to feel it. And it's the feeling of now, you know, we're watching tarot. You're learning about your astrological chart. Get a reading. <laughs> if you have it, a win over your natal is the best 100 bucks you'll ever spend. But... Uh, with the magician, it's you beginning to really take control of every element of your life. And I wouldn't be surprised if you got into a manifestation. Maybe you're in that state now. Maybe you're manifesting right now. Maybe check out the Soul Family Read, which I do up daily and for the weekend right now, um, which is a manifestation read and manifestation spirituality that I do for a collective. And see if you might be a, like to be a part of that. But I feel like part of that is you uh, realizing that what you're not getting is how much the past uh, it affects you. You know, the ancestral energy, sins of the fathers. And you're getting it and trying to change it, taking conscious control. And then I really love seeing the Knight of Pentacles here. And not only the Knight of Pentacles, and that's a strong Capricorn person personality energy um it's uh coming underneath the magician so you're taking what you're learning all that you're every part of you you're bringing it to bear you're getting your mind in order your emotions in order and now uh and you're taking action where you need to take action and now you're settling in on a solid direction now this is manifestation you know um, and particularly Saturn comes to mind. That's your boy. That's your planet. You know, and this satisfies all hell out of Saturn. This kind of, if you're going to manifest, this is going solid in it for the long term. Um, sincere, serious, determined, um, willing to construct, you know, um, willing to build, wanting to work. Um, and I think that's why you're going to bring in this Empress energy. Probably a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus uh, person that is uh, strong in their chart. Um, in any case, you're bringing in someone really solid. And, you know, this makes sense. You know, I could see the Empress receiving the right uh, knight. It's not impossible. Um, but you know what this knight's bringing? Look, he's got this huge pinnacle. It looks to me like the Knight of Pentacles. What is he taking her? What would you take the Empress if you're just a knight? Your pinnacle, that's exactly what you would take, you know? Um, you know, someone that's dedicated and, and loyal and trustworthy and uh, sincere and strong, you know? Um, I could see that's being good energy to meet the Empress. So I think that's what you're manifesting. And really also what that's saying now, if you're manifesting, then this is strong advice, is to stay in that strong energy. And, uh, you know, uh, if, like if you want love, you don't go around saying, oh, my God, I'm so lonely. I can't believe it. I'll never find love. Well, obviously, if you want wealth, you don't go, oh, my God, I'm so poor. I'm never going to have money. I'll always be poor like my family, like my family was, the, the you know, ancestral problems. Um, 
So when the magician takes control, you can put it into that and take direction of your life, you know, uh, especially with this energy right here. And look, guys, in the end, in the very end, you come in. I love this. You come in as this page of pentacles, this adolescent, very sincere in your love. I think you had a sweet love affair. I don't think there was anything uh, bad. You might look back on that very, very sweetly. Um, you're looking down at her breasts, but who wouldn't if they were 15 or 16? <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah. And, but now you're going out with the Ten of Pentacles. So um, you're going out strong. Ten of Pentacles is all Capricorn, you know. It's it, there in its personal energy. It's minor Arcana. That's working and working and building and building. Just what the Knight of Pentacles is capable of. And so you're meeting this empress. You know, I'm not necessarily saying this is someone that's wealthy, but this is someone that's really solid. And so that would be part of your intention that you're looking for someone solid and real. And I think that's why you're approaching it with your, you know, pinnacle in hand um, and why you're getting the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, um, so let me know, guys. This is a December reading. This could well be happening in December. Think about where would the Empress be and don't uh, try to be there, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe at events, they are going to like nice things, beautiful things. You're probably not going to meet the Empress at a rally uh, or a protest, uh, but uh, not that that wouldn't be hot, <laughs> but for this particular person, no. Uh, um, more uh, at a, uh, a beautiful uh, at a beautiful garden somewhere admiring uh, or arboretum there you go something like that so thank you guys give me a like thumbs up let me know leave me a message here and tell me what you think if you have any thoughts just helps the channel if you have if i have comments i appreciate it and do subscribe and hit the bell thank you guys